I am really looking for help and I'm trying to figure out how to best do this. Um, it's not a life or death help thing, but I guess the background is my daughter passed away 10 years ago in a landslide. She was two weeks away from being 20. And so, of course, she didn't have any children. Sure, her memory only lives on in the people who actually knew and remembered her. There's no legacy for Delaney beyond the fact that she died tragically in a landslide, and which is terrible but also the benefit of they will be dedicating a memorial and one specifically for Delaney herself and all the other people that passed away in the landslide in Oso on March 22nd, 2014. Many, many parents lose children in ways that are less traumatic and less public and there are no memorials for their children. I feel so blessed that if you have to have a tragedy like this, at least there's some acknowledgement of her life on a big public scale. And in an effort to even um, accelerate her memory and maybe a legacy for her, in 2010, she and I watched Exit Through the Gift Shop, which is a documentary about the graffiti artist Banksy. And we were both very inspired by that. And we came up with the idea of random acts of artwork. And basically it's about a business. It started out as business card size, pieces of original art, whatever technique that we would make. And then we would just share randomly with strangers. Or I like to uh, leave them with drive through people or, you know, just unexpected gift that people aren't, aren't, expecting. So of course ours are all positive messages because we're positive people that have embraced healing and all of that. So we did that together. And then when she moved back to Washington and I was still living in Houston, we both continued to do our little random acts of artwork. And then after she passed away, I continued it on sporadically. Um, just as you can imagine, the grief of losing your child is catastrophic and debilitating. So I was not like militant and steady on it. So it's been a sporadic random acts of artwork here and there as I bump along through life healing from that trauma. And they say that luck is when preparation meets opportunity. I had done a short tour about a year and a half in a 40 foot motorhome. Uh, quilting across America, and I shared random acts of artwork during that that was 2017, 2018. And it's kind of been on hold for a while as like I did life and different things. But uh, it recently was brought up to me again, hey, what about random acts of artwork? And they're dedicating a memorial up at the slide site in Oso, Washington, on the 10 year anniversary date, March 22nd. So I was planning on taking a road trip from Alabama where I live to Washington in my Tesla Model Y. And at the exact same time I'm planning my road trip, Tesla announced a supercharger challenge, which just opened up the opportunity for me as a, a lifelong traveler who has a huge network of quilting and artist friends all over the United States and like friends that I've actually seen face to face, not just Facebook friends. Um, why don't I try to win the supercharger challenge and leave a random act of artwork at every supercharger I hit? Why don't I? Why? I can, my job is remote. I can work on the road. My car is amazing. And I'm super excited about it. I'm going to launch my trip on February 29th. Um, here's a sample of a random act of artwork that I'll be leaving. And on the back of every piece of artwork, I'm collecting artwork from artists that want to participate, is this, um, it says, thelady.stoic.com. That's my website. 
you've been tagged with a random act of artwork and the stoic quote, waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. And then it, it has the information about my tour there on the side. I uh, like to give quilty artwork. So that's, that's what I'm up to. And I'll be leaving a random active artwork at every supercharger. I'll be blogging about my trip and all that that entails to take that long of a road trip, that meandering of a hitting as many superchargers as I can in those big metro areas. Um, and meeting up with friends that I have seen face to face and maybe some that I haven't yet seen face to face. All in memory of Delaney Webb and an effort for all of us to understand that the world has changed by how we behave. And if we give good and beauty out into the world, good and beauty comes back to us. I would love if you would support me and my pet project, Random Acts of Artwork, by sharing with people you know, by interviewing me on your show. Uh, however you feel led to help me with this movement and inspire other artists to get out there and actually share their art, to inspire other artists to share their art, or whatever your message is. Hopefully it's a message to make a positive impact in the world. And you never know what those little things can mean to people, you know? So thank you very much for taking the time to watch my video. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to speaking with you in person. Thank you so much.